Hey everybody, Save MGS here. Today I'm going to give you my thoughts on WrestleMania 30, and um, I have to say this was a pretty good show here. I mean, I think it was um, not the best WrestleMania ever. You know, most people would regard uh, WrestleMania 17 as the best uh, WrestleMania ever, but uh, this is a pretty good one in my opinion, and it had a lot of shocking moments as well. But, um, yeah, let's uh, move on to this. I think the people who came off the show looking the best were the Usos, Daniel Bryan, and The Shield. And, um, you know, they all performed very well. And, you know what? No, no, let me uh, throw Antonio Cesaro in there as well when he won the uh, Andre Giant uh, Memorial Battle Royal. I mean, uh, when he picked up the big show, I have to say I mocked out a little bit. I was, I was not expecting him to do that. In all honesty, I thought Big Show was going to win it. But, you know, um, Cesaro, um, I really hope he can, uh, take this win phrases, you know. This might elevate him a little bit up the card, start a nice baby face one for him. But, uh, yeah. And the Illsos, I just thought they were very impressive in their tag team title defense. Everybody worked really hard in the match. It's pretty good. Now, for the best, uh, in-ring, uh, match in the show, I have to say, uh, Daniel Bryan versus Triple H. Those two worked hard. They went... I believe a half hour, 25 minutes. And, you know, they just went at it. It looked very convincing. There were no flubs in the match. No one botched anything. Um, I really like Stephanie McMahon's antics outside the ring. It was like a old school heel manager type thing saying, Just give up, Daniel. Just give up. You know you can't win. But, uh, yeah. I, I just thought everybody uh, performed well when, um, that match. Now the Shield uh, versus uh, Kane and New Age Outlaws. This is what it needed to be. The Shield needed to go out there and utterly annihilate them. That's what it needed to be. That's what it should have been. That's what it was. They came off looking strong. They came off looking united. And honestly, I think they could keep this team going for another year. Do not break these guys up yet. Get as much as you can out of the Shield gimmick. They've only been around, um, I believe, since like uh, 2013. No, 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 no. May 2012, they debuted. Yeah, it was in November, I believe. Probably. I'm not sure anymore, but whatever. Anyways, I think they need to keep these guys around a little bit longer together. They're really good with what they do. And you know what? I don't think they're ready for single ones uh, either. I mean, Dean, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns, I think they need to stay together, as I said before. And, you know... Well, they're in this tag team, they can work on their weaknesses. They're not going to be thrown out to their wolves. Now, when they are ready to separate and become their own uh, single competitors, you're going to have three made stars right there. You know, if all goes well, of course, barring unforeseen instances. But, um, yeah. We also had John Cena beat Bray Wyatt. And it was a pretty good match. He went about 20 minutes or so. And... You know, the match was just missing something. I'm not sure what. The crowd just really wasn't into it. I don't know why. Although I have to say, um, I really like the Wyatt family's entrance on the match. That's how you do a concert at a uh, professional wrestling event. So that's how you do it. You don't do it like how um, Motorhead did it at two Triple H at WrestleMania 21. And you don't do it how, uh, you know, Cena and Rock a couple of years ago. No, it's just a distraction, it's annoying, but how they did it this time, that's how you do it in a professional wrestling environment. I think everything got really well, got over well with that entrance. And you know what, Um, so did it uh, when Randy Owen came out with his uh, people who made his theme music. And you know, for the uh, triple threat for the uh, WWE title, I thought it was good. You know, there was a couple bumps that I just thought were horrifying in it. But the most horrifying one I saw was when uh, Batista and Randy Owen set up that power bomb dash RKO on the announce table. And, you know, when I was watching, I noticed Randy fell on the uh, monitor. I'm like, oh, God. He he fell right on the fattest back on the monitor. Uh, monitor. You know, if, if, if that monitor would have been just a couple of inches up or down, Randy could be paradised right now. But, you know, if he wasn't, he seems to be okay. And, you know, he went on to have a great match with uh, Batista and uh, Daniel Bryan. And, you know, Daniel won the title. The crowd went insane. That was a great WrestleMania moment. But, okay. 
let's get to the sad part. I kind of been avoiding this until the end of the video. The Undertaker and Brock Lesnar had a very methodical match. It wasn't the best match. And um, the streak has been broken. Honestly, when I first saw it, I went, Oh, Undertaker kicked out. Did he kick out? No, he, he had to have kicked out. I'm, I'm, I'm just imagining. Oh my god, he didn't kick out. Did, did Taker get knocked out by accident? Because I know Lesnar wouldn't be the type of guy to just shoot on Taker. And, you know, I, I was trying to come up with explanations, you know, did, what, 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 what happened here? You know, cause there's no way the streak could be broken. Did the referee fast count him by accident? What, what's going on here? Then I realized, oh, wait. No, it, 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 it really did just happen. The, the streak was broken. And I, like the entire audience at WrestleMania 30, was just like, what? What? No, this this can't be. You know, it's the same reaction when you uh, see something terrible happen in real life. You don't know what to say. You really can't say anything at all. You know, you're kind of like in denial for a moment. You're trying to process what just happened because in your mind, this could never, ever happen. But um, the good news about this, the, actually, no, no, a little bit more bad news for us. The Undertaker was actually uh, taken to the hospital after the match. He suffered a concussion. So, yeah, I hope all is well with him. You know, he's he's been getting injured more and more throughout the uh, past couple of years. But my best wishes go out to him, uh, and I hope he's okay. But um, let's look at it like this. Following him getting knocked out, which I don't think he was. I think this is probably take a score the industry. I mean, he, he's a very prideful and proud man of what he does. And, you know, maybe he just went up to them and said, Hey guys, I, I, I just can't do this anymore. My body won't let me. I'm 50 years old and this has to be my last match because I, I don't want to go out there and embarrass myself. I, I, I don't want to end up like the guys from the, the 80s and stuff. Like, you know, like the Iron Sheik, for example. I mean, I mean, even in the 90s, that guy was just a horrible show of the man he once was. And the guy still goes out and wrestles, and, 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 and it's just a terrible sight to see. I assume Tech is a smart, a smart enough man to realize that I don't want to go out there and make a mockery out of, oh, I stand for in this business. I stand for putting on the best quality matches, best storylines, and once I can't do that, it's time to go. And, you know... Take us the type of guy to go out on his back. And honestly, I've never been a big fan of guys who retired like Van Gagne did when he was champion. I mean, that, that is ridiculous. You're not passing the torch to anyone. And, and it's just stupid. But in the Undertaker's case, I would have been fine if he went out undefeated at WrestleMania. There was really no need for him to put anyone over. And it has been argued if the Undertaker was going to put someone over at Mania and make that it be a young guy. But, in my opinion, he really could end the streak right now. And if this was a last minute thing, you know, you couldn't get anyone. And, you know, if you, even if you did find a young guy and had time to build up the match, if that young guy doesn't stay over for years to come, you completely wasted the Undertaker's legacy. You wait, that, that, it, it'll be like Maven who eliminated him at the Royal Rumble. Yeah, yeah, that's the one thing he'll ever be known for, and that's it. And you know, people will hate him forever. You know, people don't hate Maven because he eliminated The Undertaker, but it would be like, um, Bruno Sammartino and I from Kodov. You know, one guy will just be rejected from the wrestling community forever. And you know what, that might be a bad example, but, I, I, I digress there. Yeah. But anyways, you know, as I said before, this was probably take his decision, and you have to respect that. And I'm going to give this event probably a 8 out of 10. I mean, I was really surprised to see the streak ended. But, you know, hey, he decided it was time to go. And, you know, 
we've always seen those guys who stick around too and all. And it, it's just really sad to see them become a former show of what they once were. I mean, it, 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 okay, to use an sports analogy, it's like, it's like what I watched Muhammad R.D. box in his last couple fights. It's like watching Ken Shamrock fight now. It's just, it's just, you know something was there a long time ago, and you feel, and, and when you're watching that, you still feel it, but it never comes out. It never happens. Uh, let's take another MMA analogy, Mieko Kroko from the UFC. You, you, you always think the head kick's coming, but it just never happens. And it, it, it's like watching a ghost of the person, and you just really don't want to see that. And, you know, I assume people who, uh, who realize that they're, that they're becoming that, you know, no, they, they really don't want to let that be their legacy. So, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna, you know, end the video here. I'm, I've been talking way too long already. So, uh, everybody have a very nice day. Comment, subscribe, and, uh, tell me what you think of, uh, WrestleMania 30. Peace.